Courting the Hazara vote, Karzai's running mate and Hazara leader Abdel Karim Khalili securing his people's vote at this rally in the province of Daikundi in central Afghanistan. Why should they not vote for him? We have seen many improvements in the past seven years, and many people support Karzai throughout the country. The fact that we have a lot of problems is quite normal. We have overcome some of them, but I have to admit that there are still many challenges ahead. Daikundi was a district before President Karzai decided it should become a province, a sign of the growing influence of the Hazara, who emerged from being an oppressed minority into one of the most important voting blocs in Afghanistan. Now, for any candidate to win the elections, he has to win the Hazara vote. In the 2004 presidential election, the mainly Shia Hazara made up 20% of registered voters, making it the third most important ethnic group after the Pashtuns and the Tajiks. Here in Afghanistan, people vote along ethnic and tribal lines, the reason why many candidates call their influential leaders. One Hazara leader, Ramzan Bashardost, is himself a presidential candidate, which means that even with the endorsement of two other influential Hazara leaders, Karzai might not be able to secure their vote. The uh, majority of uh, people of Daikundi, I think, would think to Bashardost because Mr. Karzai is not suitable for the people of Afghanistan. The first, uh, the first day of uh, uh, government of Karzai until now is insecurity. And with the Taliban increasingly active across much of Afghanistan, security is being tightened everywhere in the run-up to the elections. Hashim al-Barra al-Jazeera, the province of Daikundi.